begged and begged and begged to put me on here and you know it got so, it got so annoying that I said okay Jay so please welcome no no I'm kidding he's a, he's a delightful personality welcome Jay Thomas Jay um, hello everyone it's nice to be here thank you I think it's nice to make friends with uh, the people for just a moment. Uh, you were uh, griping about, can I say bitching on this show? You were actually <laughs> bitching is what you were doing. Uh, about uh, what Robin Leach is making for you. Uh -huh. And all of us backstage, this is what he was uh, feeding us backstage. I brought the fabulous cheese log. <laughs> can you see the cheese log that we were uh, eating? Have you ever had this? Any is of this is in our green, green room. Oh, and look at this. Look at the lovely garnish. <laughs> oh, sure. When you talk garnish, that's yeah. Great. They, they say that no one has eaten uh, this. Well, that's why we get a lot of mileage out of it. This will stay for weeks and well, weeks I'll before. Tell you, this was a lot funnier when I was thinking of it. <laughs> Why don't, you, why don't you put that baby back? Uh, uh, you know, we'll wrap it for you. Yeah, and take it I'll home. take it home with me. Oh boy! Now, now I gotta ask you, Jay. On the radio, you play. I don't know what. What would you call yourself? A a, a jerk. <laughs> I'm a big jerk. No, yeah. but I mean the definition now. Is it a shock jock? Is this a, is this a new term? Do you guys yeah. like here in this? Shock jock's a little dirtier than I am, and um, uh, but yeah, I guess I the FCC calls me a shock jock. You yeah. know they. They listen to you. and I don't think I'm that shocking. You were on the show. By the way, one of the worst guests I ever had. <laughs> you know, I strive to be that when I'm And on I that. asked you who was your worst guest, and you said it was Woody Harrelson of No, Cheers. I never said yes, that. Yes, you did. <laughs> no, I so didn't. I, I said told Woody him was quiet. That. I told and by him. the way, he's very upset with me. <laughs> no, I said Woody was kind of quiet. He that's wants all. to beat the hell out of you. <laughs> Seriously. Uh huh. So that's the, you know, if you call that shocking, I, I don't really know. <laughs> By the way, playing your record on my station would be shocking. I'll tell you that right now. But if you want to come on, I'll have you come on and I'll play that thing at least one time. Oh, terrific. Good. Good. Oh, you look... will? That's how I get yeah. guests, you see? <laughs> I trap them. Will you come on, really? Let's yes. have them on my show. You can get out of it. It's easy. No, it's you easy to get out of it. You don't want to get out of it. You, just, yeah. out yeah. of it. Yeah. No, you have one of the popular popular shows here. We I think do. it's number one. That's. Have you read your notes? We say it's number one. Here. We say it's number one, yeah. but is it number one it, now? It's close. Uh, it's, it's, it's Power 106, and we are the number one station in Los Angeles. Now, yeah. now, but, but I mean, your face is on every bus in On town. the buses. That's the thing. Carrie, I like it so much. You know. <laughs> Love your hat, you yeah. crazy nut. I'm sorry. <laughs> Perhaps you could do Gary's show next time. Do you have a show? Uh, not right now. Not right now. Right. Now, you've got your face on these buses. What's the deal right. with this campaign? We have a shot of this. This campaign campaign that they have launched around. Let's see this picture. This is, uh, you see these on buses. We apologize right. for Jay Thomas in the morning. That's on every bus. By the way, I was being pinched below the waist when this was being taken. Uh -huh. uh, actually, we had had a lot of complaints the first few weeks I was on the air here in Los Angeles. And so the uh, general manager and the program director said, you know, the only thing we do is apologize for this guy. <laughs> so they said, let's put that on the bus and see if anybody falls for it. And then there were these RTD bus crashes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we would watch, you know, television at 11 o'clock, and there would be my bus sign, like, in someone's home. You know? <laughs> and recently we had a woman on. They were playing bridge on a Wednesday afternoon, and the uh, bus came and crashed into their bridge party. <laughs> And there was my face uh, in the bedroom with it. And the woman said, who the hell is that? And uh, so it got in the newspaper. We had her come on our show, and she has a rap song, too, by the way. <laughs> No, we had a nice shot. We found one of these. We went out and we dug up one of yeah, these shots. Yeah, that's a that's a nice one. What is the? This one we dug up here. This was. Uh, uh, this was. Uh, <laughs> this is that's the way you really see them. Like. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you had a nice cleaned up one. Yeah, thank you so much. You've gone to a lot of trouble. We, we spare uh, no expense on this. This is thank the difference you. between television and radio. It radio, is, you can say we have a nice one here, and nobody will know the difference. Yeah. We say it. We show it. I'm not bringing that cheese log on with me tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, let me tell me about this because uh, you, you you obviously uh, you you move around in. in radio right uh now is this because <clears throat> you're canned is <laughs> yeah i get fired i have been fired a, a, a few times we put together a list of some of the cities that uh, you may be familiar with jay and let's take a look at this roll the call. no you don't have a list of the cities. this is uh panama city panama i was city. fired in both of those <laughs> pensacola i was fired there knoxville well that station became a country station i came to work and everyone was in cowboy hats <laughs> and i figured you know uh, it was over for me uh one station went like hindu i put my coat over my head but they they knew right away that i wasn't uh, one of them uh, yeah i was 
was, uh, oh yeah, they blew me out of this station. Uh, and I was on Mork and Mindy for a while, and I was fired on that show. Uh, this station fired. This woman here that ran this station mm -hmm. in New York said I was a no talent. I would never work again. Uh -huh. I hope she catches something tonight that she'll never get rid of. Uh, but in Buffalo, it was just too damn cold. That was a <laughs> I quit in Buffalo. I quit in Buffalo. All right, I just yeah. want to straighten that out. Yeah, I quit in Buffalo. So now you, you move around. Now, do you, you want to be an actor? I mean, or you are I an actor. I don't want to be an actor. No, but I mean, I... you'd rather be an actor than in radio. Which would you rather? Well, you I had want to a give one pretty up. big show, you know. I'm one Well, what's show. the record for holding the longest job? What's the record? A couple of weeks? Twelve months. Twelve months. I run out of material after a year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I move to the next station. <laughs> this is my interview. Could you just be quiet? <laughs> I'm really, and now, you know what else? The shirt. I don't like the shirt now, besides the hat. It's that Paul Bunyan thing, but I'm it's sorry. Uh, You've lost control of this I, show. No, no, I, You're supposed to keep control. Well, a guy like, Hold with this. a name you like Will. Hold this. Are you controlling me with your hand in the back or something? <laughs> I want to see. That guy's name is Will, okay? What I need this. You like don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you want to hold the cheese log? <laughs> no, I got my own. Patio. You have your own cheese log. <laughs> I've lost. I've lost. I've no, lost completely. Put the cheese log back. <laughs> Cheese log calms you know, them down, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, sure. We feel the crowd getting too hot. You know, we pull out your best bit. <laughs> That's right. It's over. Now, so Mork and Mindy, your, your, your can oh, there. We don't have to go through how many times I was fired. <laughs> you want to hear the story? I was very lucky. Okay. I lied on a resume that I had a master's degree in, in acting from Yale. Uh -huh. And because everyone thought that was a big deal in New York. And why go there when you can just put it on a piece of paper? <laughs> Meryl Streep, uh, uh, who's the other guy? William Hurt, all of them. Yeah. So they went to college, big deal. <laughs> so I put all, then I put all these Shakespearean credits because there's not an agent that you've ever met who's ever seen a Shakespearean play. <laughs> and if they had, how can they recognize you in the tutu, the whole deal? A little taste of what you do. Yeah, now. just to bring the log back. But the tip-off is on a resume, when you put gopher in Hamlet, right away they know you're no, kind of making no, something. No, no, I put lead, star and deal, you know. <laughs> but I didn't know that that, uh, uh, that like King Lear was like an old person. I didn't realize <laughs> some of the things. So I did that, and then um, I did some plays, and I got on this Mork and Mindy thing, and I really didn't know how to act. I didn't know anything about it. So I get out to Hollywood, and I'd never seen a TV show, nothing. And I'd done like a play or two, but nothing. So I get there, and they, they mark where you're supposed to go with a piece of tape. You know this, right? Oh, You've certainly. You've been on TV, haven't you? Yeah. So, <laughs> you should see his floor. Right, Mark, and you walk, and I didn't know, you know, what that was all about, but the night they shoot, they pick all the tape up. You're supposed to memorize where you're supposed to walk. Well, I didn't memorize. I was screwing around. I didn't know. Well, I latch on to Robin Williams, the biggest star in the world. He hated me and did this, like, you know, the whole time. So about a year later, they finally canned me. They got rid of me, you know. Um, I was... Uh, did anyone see me on Mark and Mendes? Yeah, you were in the... Deli, right? You, you were the deli Just get it out in the open. The deli owner. Wasn't I pretty bad? Seriously. Well, Thank you. Thank you. Th now you're begging for booze. See? You're begging for booze? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was bad. Now. Ooh. No, you know now, what? It's funny. And then after that, I went back to New York, went back into radio, and started acting. And uh, seriously, I decided I will always be a disc jockey during the day get a paycheck on Friday, and then do this acting thing later at night or in the afternoon. Sideline. Kind of. Not a sideline. I'm not <laughs> Bo Jackson. Uh, uh, I, uh, it's a big deal. And if one of these things latches on, I'll drop radio like a hot potato. <laughs> well, you're doing good on Cheers. Thank we predict big much. things for Jay Thomas. we got to break away. More on the flip side after this. Don't go away. boss's wife. When you're having a transmission problem, what should you really know? This is a clutch, here's the pump, or is it the torque converter? Why get frantic? Say Atlantic Transmissions. They'll show you the difference between a torque converter and a pump, the clutch, and how it operates. They have convenient locations and a nationwide warranty. So remember, when your transmission is out